what you do for people that are taking the test. Okay, um, so um, what we have here is we have some given points. We have our vertices, we have our foci, and we have our center. And what we want to do is see if we can write out the standard form of our hyperbola. Now there's uh, 21, I believe. So when doing that, what we first need to determine, guys, everything we've been talking about with conics is determine if we're going to have a vertical or um, horizontal. And in this thing, for, a, for a, a parabola, it would determine does it open up, you know, open up or down or left and right. Um, for ellipse, was it was the major axis of symmetry? Was that horizontal? Was that vertical? And here, it's kind of similar to the major axis symmetry, but it's called our transversal axis. And our transversal axis, we need to determine is that going to be horizontal or vertical? So the best way to determine that is, let's just plot what we have and see if we can determine it. Because once we can determine if it's vertical or horizontal, then we can determine what formula to use, and then we're all set. So we know this point is at zero, zero. Uh, my foci are at plus or minus zero, comma plus or minus four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And my uh, foci, or my vertices, are at plus or minus two, and plus or minus two. So just like an ellipse, where everything, your foci and your vertices, were on your major axis of symmetry, now these are what we can call our transverse axis. And what do we know is, is this going to be vertical, or is this horizontal, our major or transverse axis? What everything lies on. Is that vertical or horizontal? It's not a dumb question. It's, or not it's, a dumb question. it's going to be vertical, vertical, right? It's the obvious question. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, therefore, I need to write the correct formula uh, to figure that out. So, very similar um, when we have a, when it's a vertical, that formula is going to be y minus k. I'm sorry, h comma k. Yep, y minus k squared all over k squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. So it's a little bit different um, with an ellipse. What we notice is we are now doing subtraction rather than addition. And since subtraction is not cumulative, um, you can't do, you know, a minus b is not the same as b minus a. It does matter which term you're subtracting from the other one. And what we notice is, what I always like to think about this way, I remember it is, remember this is a vertical, this is your vertical axis, right? So that means your A is going to lie on your vertical symmetry. So just like an ellipse, remember when your A was greater, we put it under our Y, this is going to be the same thing. Since my A, the distance of my A on my hyperbola, on my two vertices, I'm sorry, is A, and that's vertical, <coughs> that's going to be under your Y, um, Y part of this graph. So now we'll just um uh, we know what our a is we know what our c is but we don't know what b is so i don't really know what this hyperbola is going to look like but remember if here is my center this is going to be my vertice vertice focus and my focus all right it's going to look something like that all right so the one important thing for us to remember is the distance um, between your two fold, uh, between your two vertices is again going to be, or the distance from one center to your vertice is going to be a. So that total distance would be two a. So the distance, let's just look at our distance from center to one vertice is going to be uh, two. So I can just say that a equals two. So therefore, a squared equals four. Then the distance from the center. Oh, so I'll just do one distance. That's A. Then the distance from the center to your foci is C. So we look at our distance, which is going to be plus or minus 4. So I can say C equals 4. So C squared equals 16. All right? Then the last thing we need to remember is how do these all relate to each other? We talked about the distance of A, B, and C on the ellipse. The distance for A, B, and C on a hyperbola is very similar, except instead of subtracting, now we're going to have a squared plus b squared. So that's the formula for the foci? Yeah, that's going to be how they're all going to relate to each other um, for this. So then we have a, which is 4. a squared, I'm sorry, which is 4. Plus, two. plus your b squared. What? It's not 2. Right? No, oh, remember oh, you're plugging in. You're right. Um, and then, 
so then I just subtract my 4. So I write b squared equals 12. And remember, we're not, we don't need to, we're just trying to find the standard form, right? So my, k, my h and my k are both 0. So it's y squared all over a squared, which was 4, minus x squared, because the h is 0, all over 12. 